Ate too many sardines? Got sardine bones stuck in your teeth? I'm not tired. I could never eat too many sardines. And the bones have already been taken care of. I'm just thinking over some things. Can you be quiet for a while? Think, thinking things over? You? Have you ever done anything that wasn't spontaneous? This isn't like you. Hey, you, come over here. Wh what is it? Hey, stop pulling me. You idiot, don't you get it? He's thinking about that angel girl. The angel? You mean the angel of avarice? Oh, he still hasn't gotten over the fact that he let her go. Well, she did end up stealing all the money from the information bureau. <laughs> Man, her greediness is the stuff of legend. You're such a child. That's not why he's so out of it. Love must have something to do with his attitude. I can totally sense it. Love? That's a final boss's arch enemy. Tesco is getting excited! <laughs> Love between a demon and angel? <laughs> that hat must be rotten your brain. Especially when you're talking about THE Tyrant Valvatores. That's impossible! My brain is as fresh as it can be. But then, how did he know that angel's name? They must have known each other in the past. So? Well, that doesn't mean they were in love. Desco is suspicious, especially since the tyrant let his prey run away so easily. Big Sis's theory is right. Desco stakes her reputation on it. Well, it's definitely weird, but so... Is that what love is? It's love. L-O-V-E. I see. You know what? I'm starting to think you two are right. Plus, Mr. Valvatora shouted that she was supposed to be dead. <gasps> that means they were separated by death. That was their dramatic reunion. Desco can't... Desco can't... Desco can't stand this as a final boss. It has struck her heart. Forbidden love between a demon and angel. <laughs> My dream is getting way more exciting. You're all delusional. Calm yourselves, you little bitches. Or you'll rip your tongues out and feed them to the sludges if you don't. Somehow that doesn't sound like a joke when it comes out of your mouth. Of course it doesn't. It wasn't meant as a joke. He means it, Big Sis. It would be very hard to eat without a tongue. Desco is scared. Hm. You're nowhere close to being a final boss if you're really that scared. You're not one to talk. Your voice and your knees are shaking like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> that angel was just a common thief. Her presence poses no risk to our goals. Right, my lord? Hmm? Indeed. However, we can't ignore this matter either. If she's after the Netherworld's money... We should ignore her. It is your duty to ignore such futile matters in favor of keeping your focus on the big picture. I see. If you insist, then I agree. So, what shall be our next step? I already have something in mind. According to our research, which Sir Fenric ordered us to undertake, we suggest you move on to the mid-level demon area, dude. If you can bring them under your control, you'll gain the support of all the independent voters of the mid and lower levels, dude. That includes over half the Netherworld supporters. And that's all I got, dude. With that being said, what do you think, my lord? Mid-level demons? That may actually require a bit more effort this time. The Corruptorment has put a bounty on our heads after our invasions of the Plebeians and the Information Bureau. I expect the Corruptorment will intensify their efforts against us from now on. Bounty? Seriously? We're wanted now? Desco feels one step closer to becoming a final boss. <laughs> wanted? I bet they're still calling me the fake a measle! Bounty, huh? Interesting. So, how much are we worth? 10,000 hell, my lord. 10,000? That's all? Those bastards! How could they? Make them regret putting such a low bounty on us? They're probably just broke. But as long as my lord is motivated, 
I'm fine with you keeping it that way. Indeed. Then let's go! To bring Hades to the netherworld and teach every living creature a lesson. Okay, to become the netherworld president. To become a magnificent final boss. To become a great demon and make father proud. Their goals are completely different from one another. That doesn't matter. No matter our goals, there's only one path we each can take. We are more united than ever. To fulfill each of our goals and to usurp the regime, let us bring the bourgeoisie under our control! Episode 5, The Angel of Amos. Central Netherworld, an area brimming with demons of approximately mid-boss power levels. However, this area has gone through quite a transformation since the days it was a training ground for aggressive demons, working their way up to becoming upper-class demons and boss characters. This is the mid-level demon area. Huh, is this an amusement park? It looks like fun. Desco wants to play with Big Sis. Let's go on that ride. Idiots, sure it looks like a ride, but it's actually a training machine. A training machine? How do you train with that? Well, I don't know either. Do you, Valsy? There used to be this machine where you had to catch a giant hammer, a hydrochloric acid swimming pool, and other serious facilities. I'm assuming that along with the corruptment, this training ground has become a joke of its former self. You, Lass, I couldn't help but notice your comment. Did you just call our lord? Oh, Fousey? Who cares? This is just a dream. I don't mind having a demon friend. Friend? Don't be a fool. Neither our lord nor I need any human friends. Oh yeah, right. I bet you just want a nickname, too. Okay then, I'll call you Fen Fen. Fen Fen? <laughs> I haven't seen anyone walk all over you like that in quite a while. I find it quite amusing. It wouldn't hurt to get to learn about human beings by befriending them. My lord! Jessica wants to be included too! Valsy! 
Ooh. If not for Lord Val's warm words, your lives would be at stake right now. Look! Those are the wanted people! Whoa! I was so absorbed in all the nickname talk that I didn't even notice they found us! What a warm welcome. I'm starting to like being treated as a bounty. <laughs> Expected of the mid level area, these enemies look more malicious than ever. Tesco can't wait to kill them all. <sighs> Are these the rebels from Hades who tarnished the name of Sura I knew it, but I won't let that get to me. I'll prove to them that they're looking at the real deal with my own power. You bastards! You've got a lot of nerve posing into this bird. We're all dangerous demons here, you shameless thieves. Thieves? Are you talking about one of our invasions of the Corruptorman's territory? How dare you play innocent in front of us? You're conspiring to take all of our valuables with the help of the Angel of Avarice. What did you say? I am not allied with any angel. I'll proudly admit all of the evil doings that I've done, but I won't admit to anything that I don't remember doing, good or bad. The Corruptorman's propaganda. Their influence remains strong, even without the Information Bureau. Anyway, conspiring with that angel? <laughs> what a heap of rubbish. Is this another one of my father's orders? Is he the one who's been behind this all along? He used to despise schemers. His motto was, fight violence with violence. Fair and square. Really? I've been trying to imagine what kind of a person he is by judging his dirty tactics. No. I know what kind of person he was. That's the main reason why I refuse to believe he was involved from the beginning. Huh? It wasn't just because you had blind faith in your daddy? You frogs! Have you picked which one of you wants to die first? The Corruptorman promised that if we defeat you guys, we get the bounty money. And we also get to do whatever we want with your money! <laughs> this is a once in an after lifetime opportunity. I'm taking all the prizes. You're right, this is rare indeed. In fact, it's so rare it had never happened, but you're still falling for it. <laughs> Hopeless idiots. However, as long as these idiots remain, it's an effective tactic. What shall we do, my lord? The Corruptorment is trying to pin all the blame on us. We already knew that the Corruptorment has always used such cheap tactics. This is no surprise to me. However, I can't help but feel a little hopeless when even these mid-level demons are foolishly falling for their propaganda. And please, be an example for them by fighting against the Corruptorment as the most exemplary demon of all. A splendid idea. I shall show them what a fighting Prinny instructor can do! Um, my lord? How about doing it as a tyrant? Yeah! Hadi! Yeah. 
I thank you. Here I come. Let's I do thank our best. You. I'm 
gonna do it! Forgive me. I'm gonna do it! There! There! Forgive me. I'll do my best. Here I go! Here I come, here I come, here I come. I shall re-educate you! Perish! Here I come! Jack! 